Good evening students. Today we are going to do the next part of Pondicherry University MSc Chemistry Entrance Examination previous year questions. So let's begin without wasting much time. So the first question here is from the thermodynamics part which asks what the inequality of closures discusses about. The answer is entropy. The inequality of closures discusses about entropy. That is the re re relationship between heat flow, heat heat flow and entropy so according to this closures clap closures inequality what the cyclic integral of change in entropy for reversible processes it will be reversible process it should be equal to zero and irreversible it is greater than zero so this together consists of the closures law of inequality that is the cyclic integral of change in entropy the cyclic integral of cyclic integral of change in entropy that is 0 for reversible and greater than 0 for irreversible processes so that's the inequality of closures now we'll go to the second question the next question asked here is the amount of NaOH needed to prepare 1.5 molar NaOH solution in 100 ml. We have some shortcut methods but I would li like to uh, use the real formula itself. So what is the formula of molarity? Molarity will be equal to given, given mass by molecular mass molecular mass into the volume in liters. If it is given in ml then volume in ml and in the numerator will be having 1000. So every quantity that we need for the equation is here. What we need to find, this is what we need to find, given mass. We can let it be W. The given mass is W. In that case, what is W? W is equal to, what is the molarity? 1.5 into, we will take this to the other side. So the molecular mass is 40 and the volume is 100 in ml and whole divided by 1000. So the zeros will be going and 4 into 1.5 will be 6 gram. So option B 6 gram will be our answer. So this is the second question. Very simple. So you need to know the equations of molarity, molality. Every equations of mole concept is extremely important because it is the basic thing that we are learning in chemistry. Without that there is no meaning in attending the question, question paper because you can expect that question for any exam any time because that is the most basic thing. We study it from 11th standard onward so you should remember that. Now we will go to the third question. This question is actually something that is purely uh, very application level kind of question i don't know why they asked this question but i think it is because the product that is formed in this particular reaction is something of industrial importance and that you need to know about that that's why they might have asked this question we will not go to the mechanism of this particular reaction instead we will be simply learning what the reaction and the structure of the product we will be learning today so the question is reaction of peak result with 2 methyl propene in presence of phosphoric acid gives so the answer is 2,6-ditertiary-butyl-4-methyl-phenol. So this is the answer. Now let's see what, then what the other name of the real, the what we know, the industrial name of this is BHT or butylated hydroxy toluene. So what is the importance of this? This is, this is an antioxidant, antioxidant, and used in the food industry to prevent the spoiling of food. That's why this is of much importance. Now let's see what the structure of the product is. The product is having the structure. You know what peak resol has the structure of peak resol. That is like this. This is peak resol. And uh, this is our 2 methyl propene. Then our with phosphoric acid H3PO4 will be having the product structure will be like this. It goes like this. The CH3 and the OH remains as such. Then we will be having C CH3 thrice. C CH3 thrice. So this is C CH3 thrice and C CH3 thrice. This is the structure of BHT. Now you should remember this structure because since this question has been asked one time, the next you can expect 
a question like this that is which of the following is the structure of bht or the other question can be like this that which is the follow, which of the following is an important antioxidant used in the industry of food industry in that case is all this is the answer you should remember this no need of the mechanism right now i'll be checking whether in any of the previous question something related to the mechanism has been asked or not if not just learn for the time being just learn the name of the product the alternative name and also the structure okay now i'll go to the next question question here is from the de broglie wavelength that is a very simple question but you easily gain something like a four marks here the de broglie wavelength of an electron traveling at one percentage of the speed of light so you know what equation we have to use here lambda is equal to h by m v where h is the planck's constant m is the mass of the electron and v is the one percentage of speed of light so what is speed of light speed of light is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second so one percentage means 1 by 100 into 3 into 10 raised to 8 or we can write it is equal to 3 into 10 raised to 6 meter per second so everything is we are going to substitute everything in kilogram and meter and second and then finally we will be converting it into picometer okay so lambda here is equal to 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 which is the Planck's constant in SI unit then mass is equal to 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 kilogram and also as we have seen the way, uh, the velocity is equal to t into 10 raised to 6 this will be approximately equal to 2.4 into 10 raised to 2.43 into 10 raised to minus 11 meter which will be converting as to sorry i mean 24.3 24.3 into 10 raised to minus 11 meter which can be written as 243 into 10 raised to minus 12 meter or it will be 243 picometer why because the relationship between 1 picometer is equal to 10 raised to minus 12 meter so the answer will be 243 picometer so that's the answer now we'll go to the next question so the next question here asks for the coordination number of bcc unit cell the answer is 8 so what what else you need to remember for fcc it is 12 for BCC it is 8, for HCP also it is 12 and also finally for simple cubic or the simple cubic it will be 6. So these are the coordination number that you have to remember. Face centered cubic unit cell 12, hexagonal close factor also it is 12, body centered it is 8 and simple cubic it will be 6. So these coordination number you should remember. Now we will go to the next question. This is a very simple question from the part of coordination complexes. The oxidation state of the central metal atom is asked here. So let's consider the, the CrF6 3 minus is our complex. Let's consider the oxidation state of chromium to be X. Then uh, there are 6 fluorine. So we'll be having X plus 6 into minus 1 will be having the charge of 3, minus 3. So X minus 6 is equal to minus 3 or x is equal to plus 3 so our answer will be option d plus 3 uh, even though it is a very simple question it can give you a lot of marks and even one mark can give you a difference of 10 or 15 ranks in your examination so never underestimate the importance of any any question you should be thorough with all the concept whether it be simple or complex you should know everything okay i'll go to the next question the next question is which one of the following metal ions doesn't form inner sphere octahedral complex the object of answer is nickel why because we need to know that in the inner sphere octahedral complexes means d2 sp3 is the uh, hybridization hybridization is d2 sp3 for inner sphere complexes so that we need two d electrons now in case of nickel what is the electronic configuration it is 3d2 4s2 3d8 4s2 so in nickel 2 means it is 3d8 if we are filling in we can see that 2 3 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 in no way we are going to get 2 d d orbitals okay we will not get 2 d orbitals to form the d2 sp3 in any way even if we are forcing this to pair also we will be getting only 1 d d d orbital 
no no will not get the 2 and therefore the hybridization d2sp3 is not possible and therefore and nickel will not form the inner sphere octahedral complexes remember this we need not remember more or just write down more uh, more electronic configuration just remember that nickel will not form inner sphere octahedral complexes now we'll go to the next question next question is the number of epr line in hydrogen radical so what is epr or esr it is related to the electron spin resonance like nmr this is purely on electron so hydrogen radicals means we are having only one electron we expect it to have a single signal because there is only one electron but what will happen if we are having a magnetic nuclei like hydrogen there will be there will be more number of lines which follows the equation 2 ni plus 1 2 ni plus number of lines will be found where n will be the number of equivalent protons similar to nmr itself but here also the number of equivalent not protons and equivalent nuclei active nuclei should be there magnetic nuclei should be there so here what will happen there will be a single uh, electron and the single signal but since hydrogen is a magnetic nuclei and there is only one hydrogen here it will be 2 into 1 into what is the i for hydrogen it is 1 by 2 plus 1 so here we will be having answer 2 so the number of lines will be equal to option b 2 now i know many of you might not be very well uh, aware of the spectroscopy parts uh, as you have requested i am going to do the spectroscopy parts spectroscopy parts and organic reactions for coming for all the pg entrances very soon uh, i wanted to cover some more question papers so that i could understand from which part more questions will be coming for your exam so now i got a rough idea about it so soon i am going to uh, give you the weightage for each chapters and also classes which are necessary for you to attend the examination okay now we'll go to the final question of the day so the final question that we are going to discuss today is an organic rearrangement reaction that is identify the product in the following reaction this is this particular reaction is known as rearrangement is known as Pawlowski rearrangement you it is very simple i will be discussing the mechanism now it's very simple to follow and most of the time this question from Pawlowski rearrangement will be asked because this is e easy and also sim simple to learn but still you you can get confused in many ways. So, it is one of the favorite questions of the examiners. Even in CSI and NET, this has been asked many times. The same question may not be asked, but the rearrangement will be similar. So, let's see the mechanism of this particular reaction. So, this is our question. I will be telling you step by step. So, first of all, what will happen? First of all, here we have a hydrogen. The OH- minus from this ETOH will come and abstract this hydrogen and what we'll be having we will get a carbanion at this particular position so the carbonyl group remains here and chlorine so where will this OH group attach it will attack the non halogenated alpha carbon so the alpha the, we are having two alpha carbon here and here but this is containing the halogen atom but so we should go go with the other the hydrogen will be abstracted from the alpha carbon and will be having a carbanion there in the next position the halogen will be removed how because this carbanion will be attacking this carbon and the chlorine will leave resulting in a formation of this particular compound in the next step what will happen in the next step we have the what we have the complex is like this now oet minus is here this oet minus will attack the oet minus will attack the carbonyl carbon and this bond will be shifting here the next step and we will be having O minus OET. But this is not very stable. This is not very stable. And as a result, the O minus, the minus charge will come back. And this bond will be shifting. What will form now? Now we will be having a 5 membered ring. A minus charge here. And also here we will be having C double bond O, OET. And also now if this will be, we are having a lot of H plus here. One of the H plus will be abstracted and this will be, this carbanion will go since hydrogen will be abstracted here and C double bond O, OET will be formed. 
So let's see the steps once again. At first, OH minus will be abstracting a hydrogen and a carbanion will be formed at the alpha carbon. This carbanion will be attacking the other carbon so as the halogen will leave. After the halogen is left, the OET minus will attach, attack the carbonyl carbon and the double bond will shift to the oxygen. But the negative charge cannot stay long for the oxygen. So it will come, the, come back to the, carbon, uh, to the carbon as the double bond. And this particular bond will be shifting. Since it is equivalent, it can either shift this way or this way. Because both these are equivalent. And there will be a negative charge that will be abstracting hydrogen. And this particular complex will be, this particular compound will be formed. Now let's see the options and if there is any option matching our answer so we can see here yes, option b is the exactly the same product that we have found after doing the rearrangement reaction so that itself is the answer in these kinds of question please don't uh, look look the options and waste your time when you understand that this is a this particular rearrangement directly go and do and directly start writing the mechanism because it, it would be simpler than to simply waste the time by looking at the options so please do that and i am as i said i am going to do the theory parts and also the person the weightage the parts that have more weightage for pg exams that i'll be doing soon uh, and i am thinking of doing a live session so that i can tell you which are the uh, points that we need to uh, remember before att attending the exam and the which portions that you need me to take the classes on so please comment below about uh, having a live session in the coming days and also keep watching our channel for more previous year question papers and classes and after this particular pg entrance examinations are over we are going to begin iit je uh, iit je and iit jam classes as well with chapter wise solutions and questions so please keep watching subscribe our channel hit the bell icon for latest notification thank you all the best prepare very well we are here to help you for any doubts you have thank you